drama. This is not your concern. Yes, it is. He is with me. The resolution. Use all you have. It's all. <laughs> it's all today on Trisha. Her son died 27 years ago. How old was your son when he passed? He had just turned 23. These two women claim he's their dad. All my life, I was always told that Thomas was my dad. Growing up, my mother's always told me that Thomas was my father. Do you think it's your granddaughter? No. <laughs> Did he father two children before he died? How many months between you two? Two months apart. Kind of suggests he was playing the field as well. He just wasn't the stud that they're making him out to be. What will psychic Mary Ochino uncover? He keeps showing me the number three. A DNA mystery from beyond the grave. <laughs> That's a horrible shot. Did she cheat when he was in Iraq? Why is Carl denying your little girl? Yeah. He was in Iraq, and the very first thing he did was propose to me, and I said no. Carl and his girlfriend Kayla say Chelsea's just a gold digger. <laughs> tax money. It might be going to his other baby, because he's good at making them, just ain't good oh, no, at taking oh, no, care of oh, no. them. Oh, no. He stepped up for his country. You fought the bloody Taliban. Can't you fight for this little girl? Yeah. <laughs> Will he step up for this little girl? If this little girl is Carl's. And I will link with my rights because I got you a family. I don't want anything to do with you. Or her. Really? You, you are shut up and but get over the it. The that he is choosing to taste then right now. Then why the hell have I lasted so long then? Hey, good luck with that, hearing she that voice every day for the rest of she your life. <laughs> Today on Trisha. This is Ola, and sitting next to her is her granddaughter, Tia. 27 years ago, Ola tragically lost her only son, Thomas, to leukemia. Now, on his deathbed, Thomas asked Ola to take care of his daughter, Tia, the only child Thomas ever claimed. But 16 years after his death, Ola and Tia's life changed when these two women, Quinetta and Keona, came forward claiming that Thomas was their biological father too. Now, as much as Ola wants to believe it, she fears it's all a cruel scam. So let's listen to her heartbreaking story. 27 years ago, Ola suffered one of the greatest heartaches when she lost her only child, 23-year-old Thomas. My son was a fun-loving person. He grew up in the church. He was handsome, tall. To know him was to love him. At age 22, my son was diagnosed with leukemia. September the 28th of 1985. September the 28th of 1986, he passed away. And before his untimely death, Ola made a promise to him, a promise she's kept till this day. On his dying bed, he was in the hospital. And he said to me, he said, Mama, I pray that, you, that the Lord will let you live to take care of my baby. And the baby that he referred to was Tia. That was the only child he ever mentioned, the only one he ever acknowledged, the only one that I ever heard anything about. I've kept my promise to my son. I've taken care of his baby. But 16 years after his death, Ola and Tia's life took an unexpected twist. I received a letter from Quanetta informing me that she was my son's daughter. I threw the letter on the table. I didn't respond. I just find it hard to believe that Quanetta is my granddaughter because I never heard anything about her. Six years later, I received a phone call from another young lady, Kayana, informing me that she was my son's daughter. This is child number two now. It's been years of unanswered questions, and today, Ola is here in search of the truth. I want proof. I need proof. I truly want to believe that these other girls are my grandchildren because having a piece of him back through them would mean so much to me. Well, sitting in our audience is Tia's mother, Denise, and Keona's mother, Michonne, and we'll talk to them in a moment. But first, I want to come to Ola. This has been an ordeal for you, hasn't it? It has. How old was your son when he passed? He had just turned 23. 
I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. What kind of a, a, a guy was he? He was the light of my life. Your only child? My one and only child. And you were single mom? Single mom, divorced um, when he was three. But how does it feel then, all of these, these girls coming forward and saying that maybe, kind of suggests he was playing the field as well? That's something they knew about him I didn't know. I didn't know him like that. Does it hurt you? Yes, it does, because he told me everything. He didn't keep secrets from me. But do you think you, his name is being dragged through the mud? That's what I feel, and he just wasn't the stud that they're making him out to be. Did you ever hear that there were other, you had other siblings out there, Tia? Did you? I did. When I was about 13 or 14 years old, my mom told me that there may be other siblings out there. And you didn't know that, Ola? No, I did not. I met... Kayana's mother. I knew about Kayana's mother. Right. But I never knew about him seeing anybody else. Did you ever see Kayana's mother? N I, I've met her, yes. I've seen her. W at, at I your house? Her at my house, yeah. What, what, sitting down? No, and... she was in a closet. And I grabbed the door and her name is Michonne and she's here, I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Michonne, where's Michonne? Yes, ma'am. Hi. Okay. That was you. How are you? Did I shut the door? I shut the door and I was going to shut her in there because yes, I didn't know she was in there. And she said, not tonight, you won't. She <laughs> pushed it so I couldn't shut it. And I grabbed the door. So you knew your son was carrying I on I knew with, he was seeing her, but I didn't know she would be in my house in the closet. Did you know she got pregnant? No, I did not. She never, Tommy. ever mentioned she was I, pregnant. But why He's, didn't you tell her you were pregnant? Um, I don't know. I was more like scared of Miss Ola. This woman did not play. She did not play. When she okay. called me, she was like, Thomas, get her out of here. Get her home right now. Okay. So Thank you. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to you in okay. just a moment because this story is, is intriguing. Now, uh, as you all know, Tia's mom, Denise, is here to help us shed some light on the situation. Now, Denise, you, you're the one who told your daughter she may have siblings out there. So what did you know about Michonne and the other women? It was at times that, that Thomas would, like, go to the club with his friends and everything. And I know that she used to go to the club with them. But what kind of relationship did you have with Thomas then? Oh, I had a very close relationship with Thomas. Um, me and Thomas were together since I was 14 years old. Were, were you in love? Yes, we were much in love. But he was messing around with other girls? Yes. So, well, Michelle, did told you me... know, uh, you, you knew that he was with Denise? Um, Thomas told me that it was over and um, he had a child by Denise. You were there when Thomas died? I was there at the hospital all the time with Thomas. And I couldn't understand why I never ran into Denise at the hospital. Can I say something? Uh, I was there every day. I only missed two days out of the time he was in the hospital. Yeah. And I never saw you in the hospital. I was there. I was wait, there. wait. I never saw you. I was you. there. I, I never was, saw you in the I hospital. I was there, Miss. I was sleeping with him in the hospital bed. In the hospital bed? In the hospital bed. I was with Thomas in the bed. Did you know all, all of this, Ola? No, I did not. Okay. And she never, ever. I didn't even see her at, at his funeral. I was there. Me and my I, mom, yeah. we was there. But I, didn't, I didn't see we her. We was there. I saw her the night in my closet, and I had not seen her Let's since. Let's talk about, out of the blue, you receive a letter from Quinetta. Do yes. you think it's your granddaughter? No. I never heard anything about her until I got that letter. Why would she say that? What, would she be after something? I was or? a single mom raising a child. I was a homeowner. I had a new car. Oh. But I never heard anything about are you saying maybe children. money? I have no idea. Have something I to do don't with know it? what's what's the scope. I really with don't all know. With due respect, Kayana is financially stable. I understand. She, she don't need anything she from told you. Me she that. just wanted to know her grandmother. She told me. You never told me one time. You have no. I stayed at that house on Kirby Street for 22 years. Yes, ma'am. I and mean, you're right. Yes, ma'am. You knew how to reach me. Yes, ma'am. You're and right. And if you had only you're called right. it or come by and said, Miss Ola, I'm pregnant, this is my, my child by your son. Yes, I could have enjoyed her yes. just like I have enjoyed Tia. <laughs> I never knew about her until I got the phone call. But why, why didn't you tell her? Pregnancy, my first pregnancy, that was my first pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And I was young. I was afraid to even tell my own mother. That's why I called you and sent the letters and trying to get some, or Tia did, trying to get closure. Okay. Six years after that first letter, you get a phone call from someone called Kayona. And I what did she tell call. you? She said she had been looking for me. And my question to her, I don't know where she is, 
the first thing I said is, what do you want from me? Well, obviously, there are many questions that need to be answered today. Mm -hmm. So besides a DNA test, we set a, me a meeting with Ola and psychic Mary Ochino. Now, we'll show you that reading and reveal the results of the DNA tests when we come back. <laughs> Coming up, psychic Mary Ochino is here. He keeps showing me the number three. She needs to know that there are three. It's so hard. It really is hard. <laughs> and later, he stepped up for his country. He was in the military and he was at war. Will he step up for this little girl? I want him to be a, a father to our baby. I will link with my rights because I got you a family. I don't want anything here. to do with you. Uh, really? Life-changing DNA results. <gasps> today on Trisha. Uh, we've been talking to Ola and her granddaughter Tia, who are about to uncover a 27-year-old DNA mystery. You see, backstage are two women, Conetta and Keona, who claim that Ola's deceased son, Thomas, was their biological father. But Ola says that's impossible because Thomas, who suffered from leukemia, was told by doctors that he couldn't have children because of the radiotherapy and the oncology treatment that he had. Well, I think it's time to actually meet and hear uh, Kaneta and Kayona's story. So let's meet them. Come on out, ladies. <laughs> they're, com Ooh, they're coming. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So let's start with you, Kaneta. When's the last time that you saw Ola? Ten years ago? Uh, yeah, my oldest son is nine. I want to say that the last time I ever remember seeing her was when he was just a few months old. I took him to her house. He was two months old. And, you know, for him to meet yeah. the woman who I believe to be my grandmother. Was that a lovely meeting? No. Oh, what went wrong? I remember she was in the kitchen on the phone. And um, I had him in my arms. And I want to say that I walked up to her and, and I said, you know, hi, Grandma, this is your grandson. Yeah. And she was on the phone and, you know, yeah, girl, uh-huh, yeah. You know, the, the conversation, whoever she was talking to, didn't end. She, you know, was just very blunt and, you know, just waved. And, and that was really the gist of it. And I want to say that was the last time I saw her. I don't remember that. You don't remember that? Mm -hmm. What have you been told as uh, a child? All my life, I was always told that Thomas my dad. And I want to say that I was 18, maybe 19, when I sent the letter. So I, re I really just wanted to learn more about him and hear from him, his mom what type of man he Did was. Did you know you had siblings? Absolutely. I heard about Tia all my life. Kayona, what about you? What went through your mind? Um, growing up, my mother's always told me that Thomas was my father. Tia, how old are you? I am 29. You're 29. How old are you, Quinetta? I will be 30 in August. I'm 29 as well. How many months between you two? We're two months apart. <gasps> You, uh, I'm Kayana. 26. You're 26. Now, let me ask you, Kaneta, is there any chance that Thomas might not be your dad? Absolutely. Oh. There's a, there's a, I just learned of him a few months ago that there is another man. So did that make you pull back slightly? Just a little, but, you know, you just got to understand that I've, you know, T and I became best friends, like, almost instantly. So regardless, you know, if I pull back, she, we still maintain our bond. That's I mean, never going to change. Yeah. Like, named her baby boy like my kids call her auntie q and my kids call her auntie k like we are sisters and yeah I, I so do you two have a name. bond as well do they have a bond as well mm -hmm. what happens if you aren't sisters nothing sisters. <laughs> nothing <laughs> Well, as you all know this 27 year old dna mystery has left many unanswered questions so last night we arranged for Ola to sit down with renowned psychic Mary Ochino to see if she could give her some insight. Watch this. Hello. Hi, I'm Mary How are Chino. you? Ola, how are you? I'm good, Ola. Now, you know I don't know anything about you, right? No. Okay, I don't know. Yeah. We're both strangers to each other. Yes. I'm going to tell you something. I see your son in your eyes, the same eyes, and he's got his arms open, Mom. He's got his arms open, and, and all I could just tell you is that Huh. You know that, that what we say only the good die young. 
<laughs> it's true when it comes to him. Washington, D.C., it all? Yeah, I lived there for 43 years. Oh, okay. He lived there with me. That's why he brought he me to Washington, D.C. He died in D.C. D.C. Something began, like an energy that was manifesting to what happened to him, happened, started in March. Well, March of 85, they said that was the date of onset that leukemia entered his body. Did you feel that he was misdiagnosed? Of course, at first I didn't believe it. Because that's what I'm picking up. I feel like this is something I look, look at him like he's strong. He's like a rock. Yes. He's like a rock. Yes. Like how could it happen to him? He keeps showing me the number three. Mary, three, the family of three. She needs to know that there are three. I was about whether there, he left three surviving children. Whether he did, he did. Is this too much for you? It's okay. And he wants to know how you're feeling, especially here. That's why I came here, to get closure. His soul is very much around church. And uh, he's actually making me see you reading from the Bible. I'm a preacher. Oh my God. Thank you, son. Thank you, son. It's large letter L over and over. Large letter L. Latoya. He, this young boy is related to somebody named Toya or Latoya. Just remember it. That's all. Don't rack your brain. Let it go. That's what I do. I surrender it. God bless you. It's so hard. It really is hard. <laughs> Let it out, sweetheart. It's so hard. It's hard. It's hard. He was all you it, had. It's hard. Okay. And Mary Ochino <laughs> is here. Please welcome Mary Ochino. Mary. <laughs> so Mary, tell us about that that meeting. What I feel for him, as a mother of three myself, was he really doesn't care about the DNA. He's considering these children his because his daughter Tia is the aunt to those children. But why wouldn't he have told his mother or Because his mother is holier than thou. In his eyes, it was, she's a good woman, hard worker. He didn't want to tell her things that guys do. And he almost had a premonition of his own passing, like, I have to do things now. Does it hurt the, you feeling that if he told you about Tia, why didn't he confide why didn't he in you? tell me about the rest of them? Were, yes. you, were you in the church then? Yeah, I was in church. Would you he was in church too. But would he have been scared to, to tell you? He wasn't afraid to tell me when he was younger than when he got Denise pregnant. We have to take a break, but when we come back, we'll reveal the possibly life-changing DNA test results. Stay with us. Coming up... That's a horrible shock. Up next... He was in the military and he was at war. I want him to be a, a father to our baby. He stepped up for his country. Will he step up for this little girl? If this little girl is Carl's, what then? I will link to my rights because I got a family over I don't want anything there. to do with you. Or her. Really? Life-changing DNA results. <gasps> Today on Trisha. Please welcome Chelsea. Chelsea was only 19 when she gave birth to her three-year-old daughter, Adrienne. And she has been raising this little girl all on her own. Now, she claims her ex-boyfriend, Carl, is a deadbeat. And she's here today to prove to him and his girlfriend, Kayla, that he is Adrienne's father. Yeah. Now, Carl and Kayla claim Chelsea is just a gold digger. Yeah, she's just looking for a payout. But Chelsea says it's not true and that her daughter deserves to know her father. So let's start by listening to Chelsea's story. Carl and I have been friends since we were in middle school. We dated on and off and I loved him for years. He was in the military and he was at war. We stayed close and we got together when he came home. Well, I did get pregnant. I thought Carl and I were going to be together and have family. But that all changed when he started to deny our baby. I always dread her asking me, why does my dad not want to have anything to do with me? And I'm always scared that she's going to think that it's my fault. 
It's not easy being a single mom because I have to work two minimum wage jobs. Carl does not help out at all. The only thing he's ever done is give me $5 for diapers. Haley wasn't there when Carl and I had sex to make our baby, so she needs to butt out. When they break up or they have a fight, he comes crawling back to me. He needs to stop with the and help take care of the child that he helped create. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So Kelsey, let's let's start with the real heart of the matter. Why is Carl denying your little girl? Well, uh, when I told him that I was pregnant, yeah. he was in Iraq, and the very first thing he did was propose to me. He asked me to marry him. And I said no. Oh. Three weeks prior why, to that. Why, why did you say no? Three weeks prior to that, I caught him red-handed trying to cheat on me. So, so when was the baby conceived then? He was in on R&R &R for two weeks and yeah. he spent the whole time with me. So there were no other guys on the scene as far as you're concerned? No other guys whatsoever? After him, there was another guy. Did you tell Carl about this other guy? Yes, I did. When did you and tell him? After. Uh, after me and him had the fight about uh, him proposing to me and I said no. How, how did that conversation go? He got mad at me for yeah. not wanting to marry him, so I pretty much just threw it in his face. Whoa! Now, at the moment, Carl is with Kayla. How do you get on with Kayla? Uh, me and Kayla don't get along. <laughs> you met her? I've never met her. Today oh. will be the first time I ever see her in Well, person. when you say you don't get along, how...? how... Uh, she thinks that I want Carl. I don't want Carl. I want him to be a, a father to our baby. I don't want him. Okay. Now, all Carl and Kayla are concerned about, I'm guessing, is whether this, uh, your little girl, yeah. is his. Is money an issue between you? I don't, I don't need the money. I'm, I've done a good job for the past three years taking care of her by myself. I want, I want him to step up and be a father to her. Does she say, where's yes, my daddy? Yes, she always asks me where her dad is, and it breaks my heart. How many times has she seen him? She's seen him twice, and she's three years old. Okay, well, two sides to every story. I think it is about time we met Carl and Kayla. But before we bring them out, let's hear their side of the story first. Chelsea needs to stop pinning her daughter on me. There is no way that kid is mine. Chelsea's nothing but a straight up greedy bitch. The only thing she wants or cares about is money. I have made an effort to see Adriel. I even tried to see her when she was born, but Chelsea kept blowing me off. She is shady and she's constantly dodging me. Carl and I, we have a family and she's not part of it. Money gets taken out of his check to feed a child that is not his. Chelsea is taking food out of my child's mouth, interfering with my family, and it's gonna stop today. Chelsea even told me she was sleeping with other guys when we were together. Her daughter looks nothing like me, so she doesn't belong to me. This is just all a desperate attempt for Chelsea to get Carl back. When I get these results back, Chelsea better leave me alone and start paying me back the money she stole from me. From this day forward, she is dead to me. Wow, 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 wow. Before just before they come out, uh, you, you're getting money from him. No, I don't get money from them. If, uh, if there's money coming out of his check, it ain't going to me. Oh, okay. Well, let's hear their side of the story. Please welcome Carl and Kayla. Coming up, if this little girl is Carl's, what then? I will link with my rights because I got you a family You don't want anything there. to do with you or her. Really? And later. Today's DNA tests will change their lives forever. <gasps> That's true. It can be. That's a horrible shot. Life-changing DNA results. <gasps> Today on Trisha. Carl and I have been friends since we were in middle school. We dated on and off, and I loved him for years. Well, I did get pregnant. I thought Carl and I were going to be together and have family. But that all changed when he started to deny our baby. Carl does not help out at all. Haley wasn't there when Carl and I had sex to make our baby, so she needs to butt out. Chelsea needs to stop pinning her daughter on me. There is no way that kid is mine. Carl and I, we have a family and she's not part of it. Money gets taken out of his check to feed a child that is not his. Wow. Before 
Just before they come out, uh, you you getting money from him? No, I don't get money from them. If uh, if there's money coming out of his check, it ain't going to me. Oh, okay. Well, let's hear their side of the story. Please welcome Carl and Kayla. Yeah. Because he's good at making them, just ain't good at taking care of them. Hey, hey, listen, 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 I'm sorry. This is going to be my future wife. Don't talk to her like that for one. Don't know. This $1,800 that came out of my tax return last year went straight to you. That's how you got you told me car. you bought a car with that money. That was No, like, no. That... You told me you bought a car with that. Don't you lie, Chelsea. It's not true. Don't that... you lie. I have messages Don't saying that she got that money. Lie. Let, let okay, on. hold on, hold on. Yes, I did get income tax money last year. Who's that his money? Last year, yes. Who's that his money? Back child support, yes. How many, I, I how many children do you have? I only have three. two, and this one it will be three if it is mine. Is his name on your yes. daughter's birth? Yes. Oh, it is? Yes. So, what happened between you two? It sounds like you were childhood sweethearts. No. We met in seventh grade. Yes, we were, uh, we got together. Yeah. But she lived in another uh, county or whatever, and yeah. we wasn't working out, so I broke it off. She didn't get back with me until, let's say, right before I went to Iraq in 08. She finally hit me up and was like, hey, how you been, all this stuff. Yeah. And so I went to Iraq. We started talking while, we, while I was in Iraq and everything, and she comes out, or she, about a month before I left Iraq to go and leave, she told me she was around with some other guy. So after that, I went on leave. Was that, that was in the argument? Right. Yeah. And so I came home, told her I was coming on leave and whatnot. She's like, oh, okay, I'm single again. All this stuff, so. But you keep going back to her. You... Right, the two weeks I was gone, yeah. I got, I had sex and whatnot, and. Some leave booty, pretty but much. But here's the thing, though. It That's... was more than here, leave here's booty? The thing, if it's more, here's the thing, then why, the f why is he with me and not you then? Adriel, do, have you seen her? Are you involved in her Here's life? Here's the thing. Um, I tried to. That's the thing. I really what did. You try I've to? tried to um, say, hey, can I um, see Adriel? Um, she lets me see Adriel. She'll let me see Adriel. I'll, I'll agree How on that. How many times have you seen but her? But like, if I want to take her, like, I asked her once, like, can I take my daughter for a weekend or something? She won't allow her because she doesn't trust me. She says. Well, she did, does a little girl even know you? No, no, that's no she thing. doesn't. She has no idea who I am. And who are and you? And that is her? your fault. I'm, I'm supposedly her father on the birth certificate. What makes you doubt that she's your Let's daughter? Um, I came in, I came around the middle of May yeah. to the end of May on my R and R. Right. The baby was born the end of January. That's eight months. Where's the other month? I went into labor a month early. How how much did she weigh? She weighed seven pounds six ounces. So she but she's the, the, the daughter that weighs more than my daughter, and my daughter was born on time. Okay. Oh. Is this little girl is called. What then? What are you I'm gonna do? I will link to my rights because I got a family. I don't want anything to do with you. Uh, uh, really? Why? Why? Sorry. Why? Why? Uh, she's three years old. She doesn't know who I am. Hang on, that's here. That's here. Uh, she's three years old. She doesn't know who I am. She she's gonna look at me like I'm. I mean, she's gonna be confused. She's a complete stranger. Like, who's idea and that was is that? your fault. Who, who's you idea? came to Texas. Why didn't you bring I didn't get to bring my daughter to Texas. to Texas with me. Well, why didn't hey, you call uh, him and tell him you were coming so wow. he could help? I did. Did I not message you and tell you One I was second. coming to she Texas? To I didn't know until I told hey, you. Hey, 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 good luck with that, hearing she that voice every day for the rest of she your came life. To Texas. <laughs> Came to Texas to see her brother graduate uh, basic training. Why didn't you take the baby? She I couldn't afford to. She what? she Why drove. Did she did not fly. She drove. She did you not have room in the car for the baby? Let me get this right. At the moment, as we sign, you and Kayla have a little girl. Yes. Who is how old? Two months. Two months. Wow. Two months. The eighth of this month. Right, and you're totally involved with this little yes. girl. Yeah, I take care of her. her when she goes to work. I take care of her. So he's a good I dad. Her. Yeah, he's an awesome dad. He's, do you think? <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you. Here's the three three question. Here's, okay. here's the question. You would give up your rights to this little girl if it comes back that you're the dad. Yes. How do? You, uh, but you'd still have to pay child support, wouldn't you? Right. Yeah. 
Yeah. How do you feel about that? That's upset you. I mean, what? way what? Hang on. How do you feel? What? What upsets you about that? <laughs> Adriel deserves to have a dad in her life. Well, you're just going to bring another guy in her me. life anyways. You've never tried to contact Shut me. Shut up. This is not I'm your sorry. concern. Yes, it is. Oh. He is with me. It is my concern. he is choosing to taste then right now. why the hell have I lasted so long then? If I'm just a flavor, why are we still together? I lasted from the time I'm in middle school till my senior we year. We lived together for over a year. Over a year. You didn't live with him. So let's, let's get to the bottom of all of this. This is all about this little girl That's up here. I have the ring on my finger. We are engaged. Doesn't. We are engaged. Yeah. We're going to have a family together. Okay. All right. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Okay. So they have a relationship. They've got a little girl. They're planning to get married. The so why Carl, we haven't gotten married is because all the money has been taken out of my check. And, and whether this little girl is yours or not. So let's find out. Okay. <laughs> Who wants to open the envelope? You say you're. Hang on. You're saying you're one hundred percent sure. You are. Okay. I don't know what it says in here. Do you? So you might want to open the envelope. Yeah, I'll open it. You will. I don't know what it says, so forgive me. Okay, so forgive me for standing behind you because I don't know what That's it right. says. Okay. Up next, I don't happen to know who my daddy is, and if you're seriously saying if you're going to sign over your rights, you're going to give that little girl all sorts of issues. You fought the bloody Taliban. Can't you fight for this little girl? <laughs> And later, today's DNA tests will change their lives forever. <gasps> That's a horrible shot. Life-changing DNA results <gasps> today on Trisha. Carl and I have been friends since we were in middle school. We dated on and off, and I loved him for years. Well, I did get pregnant. I thought Carl and I were going to be together and have family. But that all changed when he started to deny our baby. Carl does not help out at all. Haley wasn't there when Carl and I had sex to make our baby, so she needs to butt out. Chelsea needs to stop hitting her daughter on me. There is no way that kid is mine. Carl and I, we have a family and she's not part of it. Money gets taken out of his check to feed a child that is not his. How many children do you have? I only have three. two and this one will be three if it is mine. If this little girl is Carl's, I will link to my rights because I got a family. Doesn't have anything here. to do with you. Are you? Really? Who wants to open the envelope? You say you're. Hang on. You're saying you're one hundred percent sure. You are. Okay. I don't know what it says in here. Do you? So you might want to open the envelope. Yeah, I'll open it. You will. I don't know what it says. So forgive me. Yes, I couldn't. We'll see. Okay. So forgive me for standing behind you because I don't know what That's it all right. says. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Your yeah. daughter. So, you found out that Adriel is your little girl. Mm -hmm. You know who your daddy is? Yes. You do. Do you know who your daddy is? Yeah. Do you know who your daddy is? Okay. Well, you're all very lucky. I, <laughs> I don't happen to know who my daddy is. And if you're seriously saying if you're going to sign over your rights, you're going to give that little girl all sorts of issues. So here's what I'm saying. You don't have to be father of the year to her all the time. But you need to, in my my eyes, you need to allow her to know who you are, talk on the phone, right, have some she's kind She's got to do that too. Like, she's got to be there I've for tried. No. I've tried. Now, hey, well, 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 before we get into the argument, you know, here's something. Do you, you have a computer at home? Yes. Do you have a computer yes. at home? There's such a thing called Skype and there are other things like that. Now, you can set up an account before you leave today. No, we have a Skype account. You've got a Skype account. I've got a well, Skype account. Well, Skype welcome Skype to the 20... Account. Well, yeah. I wish you'd use it for this. I mean, it's a great tool to use. You can't afford to bring her to Texas with hey, you. Hey, Carl, you think just a minute, come just now. a minute, just a minute. Carl, you fought the bloody Taliban. Can't you fight for this little girl? <laughs> Can you shake on I that? Want, I want you to be a part of her life. If, 
If I'm paying, I want to be able to, you know, I, if I'm going to pay. Then... Good luck. Dad. Up next, today's DNA tests will change their lives forever. That's <gasps> true. It can be. That's a horrible shot. Life-changing DNA results <gasps> today on Trisha. Welcome back. We've been talking to 69-year-old Ola, who's here to find out if Cranetta and Kayona are her biological granddaughters 27 years after her son Thomas's untimely and tragic death. You see, Tia was the only child Thomas ever claimed, which leads Ola to believe that these women are not his children. We'll find out because only the DNA results will finally reveal the truth. Before we get to that, um, what if these two young ladies are your granddaughters? I welcome them. I welcome them. Okay, let's start with your results. Um, I'm going to let you... You open this? Okay. I don't know what it says, so excuse me if I read over your shoulder. Are you serious? is God. Thomas's daughter. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Keona, again, I don't know what the res results will say. Definitely. Keona is not Thomas's daughter. Oh. It's not true. It can be. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Life goes on. It's okay. But you did say there could. Like I said, it could have been a possible chance that I was pregnant an hour, a day, maybe two days before me and Thomas met. That's a horrible shock. Do you need to give your daughter no, some comfort? Ma, please. Oh. Ma. Ma, don't move up. Be quiet. Don't back up. 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 Mary, if I can get you just to stand up for a moment. You saw the number three. He's given her the right to call him daddy. This woman, young woman, has been thinking of him as her father all these years, and he wants to acknowledge that he has love for that mother. For and maybe he, went, he probably went to his grave thinking it was his child. It was his child. Thank so he's you. Con like, if you adopt someone, he's considered he has three. <laughs> so, Miss Ola, you're kind of at the center of this. How are you feeling? Anything you want to say to these young ladies? I have heard oh. from Kayana every week, two or three times a week since January. What do you think of her? I think she's a wonderful girl, wonderful young lady. <laughs> and Kayana, you better still be my granddaughter. You want to give her better a hug? still be the three of us. I won't love one any more than the other. I'll be there for both of you. You can believe that. So I don't care what the piece of paper said. I know what my okay, let's said. take a break. Let's and take a I break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Life-changing DNA results <gasps> today on Trisha. You know, sometimes I get to that point when I kind of think I've seen it all, and then we get shows like today. But they're real people, real situations. And uh, I hope people from the today have got some really, just some answers. That's why we're here. Take care.